welcome back to educator.com. We're in the Calculus 1 sequence and we're looking at average function value. And we have two further examples just to practice on and just some interesting things to look at. So let's find the average value on 0 to 16 of square root of x. So square root of x looks something like this and we're going out to x equals 16. We want the average height of that function and visually it's going to be a height kind of like that so that the area of the red rectangle matches the area under the blue curve. Okay, now again let's get a feeling for what sort of size we're expecting our answer to be. This point has coordinates x equals 16, y equals square root of 16, so y equals 4. So we're certainly expecting a result less than 4. And so looking at things visually, you might expect between 2 and 3, something like that. And so let's see what the exact result is. So f average equals 1 over 16 minus 0 times the integral from 0 to 16 of radical x with respect to x. So we have 1 16th times radical x is x to the 1 half. It integrates to 2 thirds x to the 3 halves. We can do a quick pause and make sure that that all looks okay. Differentiate and get the original integrand back. We're integrating from 0 to 16. We can do a little bit of simplifying of the 1 16th times 2 thirds. And so we have 1 over 24 from the 1 16th times 2 thirds. 16 to the 3 halves minus 0 to the 3 halves. Okay, so we have 1 over 24 times 16 to the 3 halves is square root of 16 cubed. So that's a 4 cubed, which is 64. And then we're subtracting off a 0. So we have 64 over 24. We can divide top and bottom by 8 and get 8 thirds. I mentioned that visually we expected something between 2 and 3. 8 thirds is between 2 and 3, so we can be somewhat confident if this was a test situation that we had done things correctly, and in fact this is correct.